so it's absolutely insane to think about it. But a year ago already, I put in my solar panels on my shipping container build. That project's pretty much finished now, and you can check the video down below. But the main thing is that I wanted to do kind of a, a year update, a little, let's say, review of what happened and what I've been doing. The truth is, not much. What's fantastic about this system is I literally just plugged it in and left it. I did a couple of small things like I rerouted some cables and I did buy a little P Ever E box Wi Fi converter, which by the way is completely useless. But I guess the first things I want to kind of discuss is what I would have done differently, maybe? Um, I think a couple little things. The one is that the little inverter that I've got, it's a little 500 watt inverter. 500 watt you can get away with most things, it runs laptops, runs everything. What we've got in the shipping container kind of set up is our internet, our phone, our CCTV, everything kind of running 24 seven. And that runs straight out of the solar charger and then the little inverters there to, you know, like I say, charge our phones and do basic office stuff. I do want to upgrade it now to the 2000 watt system. It was at the time quite expensive to get one of those two to 3000 watt inverters. Since then it has kind of that price has dropped and a bit more accessible. So in the future, that's definitely what I'm doing. I did try this little EP ever E box Wi Fi converter. When I when I bought this thing, I mean this was fifty bucks. When I bought this thing, I thought that it would kind of be a way for me to kind of wirelessly check on a on the system. But actually, in actual fact, what this is is it it creates its own little its own little Wi Fi, and then you connect a device to it, and you can check. Pretty much all you can do is check what you could see on the screen anyway. Um, with our build, I can literally. Just look at the screen. Um, what I did want it for is like when I'm sitting at home, I can check how the power is going, um, especially overnight. Anybody want this? Hit me up in the comments. I'll let you have it. What I am what, kind of wanting to do because I because I kind of left the thing and haven't done anything to it. I also haven't been on top of the container and given them a clean. Um, they're looking pretty pretty sad at the moment. So I do think it's kind of affecting the performance. It must be. Um, so what, what I kind of want to figure out is how often I do need to clean them and how much of an effect um, having clean panels has. So what I'll do is I'm going to clean one um, and then unplug both, plug the clean one in, see how much power it's making and then plug the dirty one in and see how much I lose and I'll give you a little percentage of that. Okay, let's get on there. Yeah, so that's them. It's like this dust and pollen. And All right, so what I'm first going to do is I'm going to unplug them both, just so that the batteries can dip down a bit, so they don't can see kind of full charge when they get going. And then um, I'll clean that one, plug it back in. See the difference between the two. There we go. Okay, so I might actually have a use for this after all. I'm going to plug it in and then use the use the app on this to check the levels while I'm upstairs actually instead of coming down and checking on it and all that so let's give that a hoon and I can actually end up showing you what to do all it does is it plugs into the bottom in the com bit and then you connect to it on the on the Wi-Fi's. there it is little e-box and then I connect to it on the app. I mean, it's, I go to controller, I go real time monitoring. I don't think nothing's happening at the moment because I've unplugged it. Um, but hopefully, when we climb up on the roof, we'll have a little look. 
dirty one first. Okay, let's go have a look. Ah, it's useless. Alright, so I had to climb down, have a little look. Here's what we got with the dirty panel. Climb back up, plugged it in. And this is what we got up with the clean panel. Not much of a difference. And then back up onto the roof to plug it all back in one more time. Alright, so I'm quite surprised because it's only it's only like five, six percent difference between the two panels. Um, put the exact numbers here. Um, but like Elena said, yes, it's only five, six percent, but it does look better. Okay, let's clean the other one. Right, so that's actually pretty, pretty surprising. I didn't expect it to be as little as it was. I guess that that percentage is going to make quite a big difference when you've got really overclass days or in the winter when it's when it's quite dark and the sun's pretty low. I did this experiment to kind of make sure that I knew how much I need to clean those things or how often. Um, I think once a year is probably fine for me. I'll probably do it just before winter. Um, yeah, summer, we doesn't really matter. I was pretty disappointed with that P everything. It, the Wi-Fi range was like three meters and top of the, it didn't go through the top of the shipping container, obviously Faraday cage style. Uh, so, ah, pretty useless to me. The app, the app's okay. Um, I did get some stats out of the app. I've got them here in total. Over the whole year, I've made 197.9 kilowatts. So that is $32.50 worth of electricity over the whole time. Um, it doesn't sound like much, but the first thing is that it's it's only the the solar panels only make power once you use it, and we, we don't, to be honest, use it that much. We, we use it to run the phone and internet and CCTV and all that kind of stuff um, and that only uses constantly 14 watts of power all the time all right so that that 32 bucks doesn't sound like a lot but you know in the whole scheme of the year firstly we didn't have to pay the 14 15 grand to get it all plugged into the mains and during that time we haven't paid any lines fees so line fees just to have the line connected to the shipping container would cost us around 100 bucks a month so that just in itself, 1200 bucks, we almost have completely paid for the price of the kit, which New Zealand was 1400 bucks. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it's somewhat helpful. If there's any questions about anything that you've seen in this, firstly, you know, bang them down in the comments below. Also, I'll put a link to all the other solar related videos that I've done. Um, there's heaps of information and I go really into detail about exactly the system that's in there and how I've kind of configured it and why I configured it and worked out all the maths and everything. So it's all up there. Um, but, you know, other than that, thank you very much. I'll see you next time.